Yo, what's up guys, this is Yusuf Shah from TechDroids and continuing with our Raven Ridge builds, today I've got you guys a $450 gaming PC featuring the new Ryzen 5 2400G. And also in this video, I'll clear out the doubts and the suggestions you guys had in my previous two builds, you know, considering things like when I went with, you know, single channel RAM rather than dual channel, although it benefits APU performance. So all that will be answered in this video and yeah, all the parts that I talk about in this video will be linked in the description of Amazon US and those are affiliate links. So yeah, if you want to help the channel out and in turn help me make more videos, go ahead, buy from those links. And with that being said, let's quickly go over the parts and towards the end of the video, we'll talk about the performance and the future upgrades that you can get with this build. So with that being said, let's get started. It was not obvious I have the AMD Ryzen 5 2400G, four cores, eight threads, unlocked so you can overclock it. Comes clocked at 3.6 GHz on the base and can go up to 3.9 on the boost. Vega 11 GPU and the 11 stands for 11 compute units. 6 MB of cache and 65 Watt TDP. So yeah, it's a pretty power efficient, good little CPU for $169. Now to house that CPU, we have the ASRog AP350M HTV motherboard, which gets all the essentials nailed. Aim for socket type, DDR4, HDMI, USB 3.0 and M.2 for super fast storage. Also, it has overclocking support for only $60, so it's totally a killer deal. And in my opinion, a really good value for money budget motherboard. And it's in the micro ATX form factor, so you're not paying a premium for small. Now for RAM, we have 80 gigabytes of Crucial Ballistics Port LT at 2666 megahertz. Again, it's single channel and it cost $85. Now let's pause here for a second and address this. Why go with single channel DDR4 rather than dual channel? Although I know dual channel will get you more performance, at least a little extra performance if you go with dual channel as APUs always benefit with dual channel performance. This is no rocket science. But considering the current RAM pricing situation, I think single channel DDR4 is the way to go. Although you'll get you know, slightly less performance, you'll be able to upgrade in the future and you'll not be wasting your money. Because if you go with dual channel right now, and if you feel like upgrading in the future to 12 or 16 gigabytes, you'll have to waste either one or both of the DIMMs totally. And that'll be a total waste of money. And that just doesn't make sense to me. So go with single channel right now, you might get little less performance right now, but in the future, you'll be happy and you won't regret this decision. But yeah, if dual channel is what you want and you can really not live without it, I'll try to link up a dual channel kit in the description down below so you can buy that when you're building this PC. And with that being said, let's move on with the other parts. For the storage, we have the WD Blue one terabyte hard drive. It spins at 7200 RPM, 64 megabytes of cache, and it comes in a 3.5 inch form factor for only $49. So yeah, one terabyte of space for $49, not the fastest thing in the world, but you're still getting it for a bargain price. So go for it, it's totally reliable and it's coming from a very reliable brand. So I totally recommend it. Now to power this whole build up, we have the 500 watt Thermaltake Smart Power Supply, which comes in a ATX form factor and is 80 plus certified. So 80 plus wide certification. That means you'll be getting 80% plus efficiency at all times and it only retails for $39. So it's a totally, you know, steel deal. Go for it and it'll get the job done. Now to wrap this whole build up and to pack all our components in, we have the Corsair Carbide Spec 04 Mid Tower Case. It comes in a bajillion color combinations, black and yellow, black and red, black and gray, and also full, you know, tempered glass variant. So if that's something you like, you can go for that. Space is there, looks are there, and also front panel IO, that is USB 3.0 and audio jacks for only $45. In my opinion, I think it's a very good looking case and has that gamery feel to it has this you know clear side panel and also has space for beefier graphics cards and some extra cooling and yeah that's the job so that's it for the parts now let's talk about performance and upgrades in the future so talking about performance it'll be pretty similar to the last build that i did on the ryzen 5 2400g so you'll be able to get through all the lower end or last generation titles such as you know rocket league csgo minecraft dota 2 league of legends world of warcraft Team Fortress 2 and things like that, you'll be able to get through them 1080p, 60fps or 100fps, no problem. You can crank up the settings and still get a really good playable experience because the GPU on board is pretty capable. And if you're talking about the modern AAA titles, you can play things like GTA 5 and Battlefield 1, but you need to keep your you know, expectations down. You need to keep your resolution and settings down as well. You can play PUBG as well. But play at 720p or 1080p, keep the settings to maybe the low or medium, you know, presets and you'll be able to get some really good playable experience and that's about it for the performance it's a very good overall you know budget pc and it should get the job done and talking about the future upgrades you can upgrade the ram you can upgrade the storage and also a necessity in my opinion will be a graphics card get a gdx 1050 or a 1050 ti also rx 560 and a 570 will do if you can get them in their normal pricing go ahead buy one and you'll have something really powerful in your hands so that kind of wraps it up for this build 
Thank you guys for watching and also let me know in the comments down below. Are you building this? What suggestions do you have? What changes do you have? I'll be there replying to you guys always. And yeah, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching and peace. So if you hating us, it's a loss, you can fall back Yeah, yeah, I swear I'm in myself The top is where I'm going, I'm in, I'm wanting all that Yeah, and I just want it all, and I